This thing is teeny, less than 10 pounds. And well, it's because it's a DC inverter machine. It is only 110 horsepower, and that might be the reason why you're picking it up. The drawback to that is it can only output 80 amps. The on off switch is on the back, but nobody cares where that is. Some premium features on this machine are, well, for example, you've got an LED that illuminates when it's overloaded. You got a green one that lights up or illuminates when the power is on. Plain J knob for your amperage control. Uh, and really, since it's just a stick machine, that's about the nicest features you get with this guy. Now a feature that's actually worth talking about, and that would be these guys. These are DINs 25. The 25 just means the size, so it's, it's a pretty common size, but it's the connection type. So DINs 25 connection. And what that allows you to do is be able to switch between positive and negative, your polarity. Now stick welding, lots of rods that you use, you can actually go either or, so it doesn't really matter. And if you're not sure about which way to go, just stick with DCEP, which is DC, direct current electrode positive. So stick the ground one in the negative, the electrode in the positive, and you'll be set. Now the plus side of that is being able to switch that. But if you want to step up your game and start meddling in some TIG welding, well, that allows you to do it because you can pick up a manual TIG torch. We're not going to get into exact details on that, but just get a manual TIG torch and then some argon, some other consumables, yada, yada, yada. And boom, you're scratch starting with some TIG. Don't forget those rods. These are some 7018 rods, uh, 330 seconds. And if you just have no clue what to get, start off with some 6011 or 6013 rods. They're very similar, probably couldn't tell the difference. And I like some 7018 rods. Yes, they do have different functionalities and everything, but that's just a great start for some general purpose rods to get you through those first couple projects. This is a very typical electro holder couple things to take note. If your machine is on and your electrode's in there and you tap on your workpiece, you'll arc. The machine's not on right now, so it's not gonna do that. But this electro holder allows you to actually come out at a 90 degree, um, very typical, that's usually how I have it. You can angle it up, you can angle it down, down, where's the groove? Right there. And yes, you, of course you can Harry Potter it. I've never seen anyone weld with it straight out, but I don't know. Maybe it works for someone out there. It does claim to have hot start capability. The hot start is when the machine gives it extra amps as to be able to start the arc, and then it turns it down once you're going. That doesn't mean that it did do that every time. There were a couple times where I had to poke at it and strike it a couple times to get it going again. With it only being 80 amps, the max thickness material is a 16th of an inch. No, wait, it's seven gauge. Okay. If you're going off the box, it's a 16th of an inch. And if you're going off the machine, it's seven gauge. I am leaning more towards the machine that it can do 3 16ths of an inch, just because with any 110 volt machine, you can typically get about a 3 16ths of an inch thickness out of it. So just keep that in mind. It can probably do more than a 16th of an inch. This is a 3 32nd inch 6013 rod. And well, both the 6011 and 6013 are kind of a deeper penetration or fast freeze type rod, meaning it's great for those outdoor, the rusty type projects, or if you got some, you're maxing out the thickness and the material, it's, it's one that really gets the weld down deep. Now this 3 32nd inch 7018 rod, this is great for a clean surface. It's more of a fluid type rod. Uh, really, it, it just means that it doesn't have or produce those high peaks uh, that you kind of see with those 6011 rods. And But either way, both the 60 and the 70 rods are great, um, but if you do want that prettier weld or you're working with a cleaner material, just stick with that 7018 just because for me it seems like it's a bit easier to weld with. Look at that, it welds. Not that it's that big of a surprise, but I mean, the thing that this has going for it is the size. This thing's great. It'll be good to just throw in the back of the car with some rods, go help out that buddy with the railing, the gate, the fence, you know, anything little small that has some rust. Yeah, this thing, I left the mill scale and rust on, so, and I plowed right through that. I mean, hey, for a cheap Harbor Freight 80 amp welder, it's not that bad. That's all I have for this guy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.